Peter Desawe in Kanda. This is News 360. My name is Alfred Okansi. And I am Portia Gabo. Coming up the headlines. News 360 headlines is brought to you by Deluxe Acrylic Paint, Heaven Insecticide Spray and Coil. Kel Chuckle to. Tonight in the headlines, University Teachers Association of Ghana and Employment and Labor Relations Ministry earlier agreed to a plan for a month-long negotiation as part of conditions to end the EU tax strike. But what we are learning is that the meeting with the NLC has also concluded otherwise. Also coming up, presidential advice on health. Dr. Nsiasari defends a world of contract on Agenda 111 projects from the presidency. Nadmo begins distribution of relief items following initial difficulties due to the collapse of roads and bridges in the Upper West region. In business news, former finance minister Seth Dethbe urges government to focus on reducing expenditure than adding to alcohol and tobacco taxes as proposed by the IMF. Also tonight, in the international news, more than some chaotic scenes continue at, outside Kabul International Airport as governments rush to bring home their citizens as well as Afghan colleagues. We're live on 23 Ghana on Facebook, DSV channel 279, and all across the world on 3news.com. If you haven't downloaded the 3news app, we encourage you to do so. Go on to the Google Play Store or the App Store and download the 3news app. Let's engage, let's interact, let's get into our stories this evening as uh, news just in. The University Teachers Association of Ghana, that's UTAG, intends to continue with the court case over its strike. A meeting with the National Labor Commission after an earlier one with the Labor Employment Ministry did not yield fruitful discussion. So that's what you see there. The, the governance leadership led by the Deputy Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, uh, that's Bright, together with the Minister of Education, were actually disappointed. But Utah government and the, the National Labor Commission declined to grant interviews to the media after this meeting. But... This is contrary to the, the earlier decision that was communicated that UTAG was actually willing or had given intentions of calling off the strike with a one-month period. Uh, but unfortunately, what we're hearing now is that after the meeting between UTAG and the National Labor Commission, they have decided to rather continue with the court case, with the strike. So that's what's going to happen now. And this decision... Uh, surpasses what was earlier communicated. So that's what you see there. But let's stay a bit further on this because earlier, the University Association of Ghana, that's UTAG, came to an agreement to actually suspend their strike after agreeing with the government over a number of issues. In a statement released after a meeting with the Employment Labor Relations Minister, both parties agreed to an earlier plan of one month long negotiation over uh, pending issues. I, and it appears that this uh, earlier agreement, unfortunately, uh, has been overruled with the now the communication we're getting of the latest meeting just ended some few minutes ago between the National Labor Commission and the Employment Relations Ministry and also the UTAG. Unfortunately, that is what has led to this communication coming in now that they will continue the, the strike. I'm gonna go through, uh, as we go on in the bulletin, some of the decisions that were agreed earlier for the one-month period, Portia. 
We're still on the UTAC strike, President of the National Union of Ghana Students, Emmanuel Bwachi Yadom, has called on President Ikufuado to intervene in the ongoing impasse. According to him, the group may be compelled to explore other alternatives to get their teachers back to work if government fails to meet their demands. There's a lot of uncertainty that this particular strike is presenting. People are now embracing extracurricular activities. A lot of people are, you know, doing more things like volunteering, trying to find other things to pass their times while on campus in the anticipation of whether or not they come back or the university closes down after 21 days of inactivity, as the statute says. What does closure mean? Does that mean no teaching, but we could be on campus, for example? Can seminars still go on? Can other and see the activities that are non teaching still go on. Do we have to go home? Do we have to move teaching and learning online? Or do we have to move the university activities online? Those kinds of things. I think that when closure is interpreted properly in a manner that would make it easier for the university to reassemble or reconvene as it were, then it would, it would, it would make more sense or would add to the certainty that we need. I believe where we are now, to me, are very, very critical times and then critical moment. We don't have to take actions that would be sort of a hasty one, which at the end of the day would um, maybe muddy the waters or something. Yeah. So we are still calling on other um, personalities who we believe can be able to um, say something um, to um, to the president, to the chief imam, to other um, respected, highly respected persons in the country who can. Maybe in the course of the week, if there will be any change of mind, uh, the National Executive Committee would definitely have to decide. We would also want to tell our colleague students to continue with their preparations towards exams. Well, let's stay a bit further. On the UTAG strike, well, earlier they had a, got into some agreement with the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations that was proud to the NLC meeting, which ended a few minutes ago. This was just a few of what they had agreed on, that negotiations will begin again on Monday, August 23. Also, that an earlier one-month negotiation roadmap agreed will be signed by the National Labor Commission and then also the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAC. Also, that the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations and the National Labor Commission work at discontinuing all legal actions against UTAC. But this is the point that has now been overruled. But also, finally, that the UTAC, while the National Labor Commission begin withdrawal of legal suits, will also take steps to suspend its ongoing strike action. So that's uh, the... the details of the agreement that was captured earlier between the national that's the UTAC and also the Employment Labor Relations Ministry. Unfortunately, Portia, as we speak, the meeting between UTAC and the NLC has sort of overruled this particular agreement. And so the suit is going to continue. Yes, we'll wait for the court case tomorrow. Absolutely. Let's now turn our attention to Agenda 111. And a day after government amid pomp and pageantry rolled out its health infrastructure program dubbed Agenda 111. Criticism is imagined about the award of contract. The minority in a statement noted that the award of contract is not transparent and being awarded directly from the presidency instead of the health ministry which violates procurement regulations. But the presidential advice on health, Dr. Nsia Sari, at a media briefing justified the awarding of the contracts from the presidency, insisting it was done in consultation with relevant stakeholders from various government agencies. So this one, Ghana government is contracting from the head of the, the, the government. Because it's a very important project. And as I said before, the ministers that we are talking about, they are all part of the project steering committee. So it's nothing which is that anybody is hiding from anybody. Everything that we are doing about Agenda 111, we follow the procurement processes to the letter. This Agenda 111, the district hospitals, is one of the most well calculated fixed sum contract. I think if you compare the cost of other hospitals before, it's nowhere near uh, us at what we are doing now. There are some hospitals, seven hospitals which were supposed to be built, which we know the cost. And you should all find out how much that cost was. And I also even heard people trying to compare that because it is not as expensive as other, other hospitals that they've seen. It's not going to be a very good hospital, but this is what we are going to do, which is value for money. 
Meanwhile, the health minister, Kukwa Jumameno, has refuted claims by the minority and critics that the Kofuado administration has abandoned previous projects while commencing the Agenda 111 health projects. He attributed the delay in completing the projects to locked up funds abroad caused by a COVID-19 pandemic. Now, since I joined the ministry, no project has been abandoned. Last year, we did a lot of shortcutting on some projects. And we have been asked questions as to why these projects have not started or have not completed. Let me state that it looks like very, very quickly, all of us Ghanaians are forgetting about the fact that the world was hit by a pandemic which disrupted normal economic activities. Projects like La, Shama, 12 different hospitals to be done by just one contractor, one made from you. We did soccer team for all of these in October, November. By December, COVID second wave has hit Europe and this attended disruptions. People were not going to work like in our country. Flight disruptions and cancellations and restrictions and quarantine and certain demands at certain airports wouldn't allow easily contractors and engineers who are coming to engage us to begin work for these projects to be done. And these are things that have actually delayed some of the projects we did sort cutting for. All that we have to do on these projects have not been completed. And within the next two weeks, uh, Vamed alone would have, is mobilizing to 12 different sites. Shama and um, La. Next week, you will see work even now, preliminary works ongoing in these places. Let's now turn our attention to COVID-19 and Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kumar Bwaje, has explained that the next batch of AstraZeneca vaccines received will be administered to members of the public who have received only one job. Ghana has received 249,600 additional doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine donated by the United Kingdom. We're quite happy because that will go... Uh, will be given to the those waiting for their second dose of AstraZeneca. All of them are due for their repeat dose. But you are also aware that within a week or two, another a similar quantity will arrive, so that all those who are waiting for their second dose will be covered in no time. Once FDA releases the vaccines after testing and going through all the assurances that they need, we will quickly start that nationwide for all those who are waiting for the second dose, including health workers. And because we've used it before, we don't need training. We don't need to train because there are people, there are health workers trained to deploy AstraZeneca. They will go ahead and add it to the current existing vaccines that have been given. So we will let people as to who and when they are due to come for their vaccination. Well, the more Ghana Health Service alerts, we will certainly let you know here on TV3. But the National Disaster Management Organization, NAMO, has given out some live items to over 300 displaced flood victims in the West region. The items were handed over to the assembly members of Nadoli Kaleo and Dafiama Busi Isa districts for onward distribution to the affected persons. The items include 100 bags of rice, three, that's 30 boxes of cooking oil, four bales of blankets, 10 bales of used clothing, 30 pieces of plastic buckets, hundreds of pieces of plastic plates, 200 pieces of plastic cups, 50 pieces of students' mattresses. In more news tonight, leaders of the aggrieved public sector workers are demanding 
a renegotiation of their base pay to a 25% increase for this year and 35% for next year by leadership of organized labor. The group is further demanding that Article 71 office holders should not receive salaries until their concerns are raised. So please, we are moving now. Organizers of the protest attributed the low turnout to lack of financial capacity by members to transport themselves to the venue. The month has almost divided into two. Public sector worker, nobody will have even, I don't think somebody have 100 Ghana in their salary or in their bank account. So even taking cars to this place, this is a confirmation that Ghanaian workers are actually suffering. Kickstarting from the Obras Fort at Circle through to Adabraka, then to Accra Central, Members of the group said they expect their leaders to immediately address their grievances or resign. Everything is expensive now and we are really in a serious crisis. We are dying slowly. We are dying in pain. There's nobody to come for us. Our leaders are disappointed us. So this demonstration is like a life. It is my whole life. We want to tell organized labor and their gentlemen partners who are government appointees. That's enough of this nonsense. We will not take it again. We are saying that to hell with the 4%. The demonstrators finally made their way to the Black Star Square and then to Parliament where their petition was received. Norbert Bogbochi, who speaks for the aggrieved public sector workers, indicated that the group seeks an immediate increment in base pay or the resignation of the General Secretary of the Trades Union Congress, Dr. Anthony Yalba. We hereby respectfully ask that the Chief Labor Officer be directed by law to initiate a fresh negotiation. Having in mind that we want 25% base pay increment and not that of 4%. And we are also asking that quite apart from that, the seven percent they negotiated for next year should also go to 35 percent. Either than that, he can also resign. Director of Public Affairs at Accra Regional, DSP Juliana Obey, described the security deployment plan as prudent. Away from that, the former president and the NDC 2020 presidential candidate, John Jermani Mahama, was at Gambaga in the northeast region on the second day of his tour, where he called on the paramount chief of Gambaga, Gamba Ran Yaha Wuni. The NDC 2020 flag bearer told the chief and his people that the NDC had performed well in the parliamentary elections, and although they lost the presidential, his tour is to express his thanks for their support. We are here to say thank you, even though we didn't end up with the ultimate prize, which is the presidency, we are still here to say thank you for the effort you made in coming out to vote for us. I'm touching just a few places, and to use you, my father, as the instrument to say thank you to all our people who came out massively to vote for us. Our performance in the parliamentary... <coughs> In other news, Anglo Gold Ashanti Dwaprim Mine has handed over a 20-bed isolation center and medical essentials valued at 1.5 million cities to the Taqwa and Suayem Municipal Health Directorate. The isolation center will enable the municipality to strengthen its fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The municipality has lost three persons to COVID in the past two weeks, while four are currently on admission. The 20-bed isolation center and several medical essentials valued at 1.5 million cities will help the municipal health directorate battle the virus. The isolation center is fitted with modern equipment that will enable prompt response to the needs of patients. The essential medical items include 100 hospital beds with mattresses, patient monitors and 80 drip stands. The managing director of the Anglo Gold Ashanti Edria Prem Mine, Samuel Boachi Pobi, said the company is committed to helping fight the virus. The municipal hospital laboratory has commenced COVID-19 testing and the mine is aware of the existing resource constraints. The mine is making arrangements to refurbish the laboratory as part of supporting 
COVID-19 testing activities within the municipality. The municipal chief executive of Takwa and Swim, Benjamin Kesey, pleaded with residents to adhere to the COVID-19 safety protocols. Uh, the National Development Planning Commission, DPC, has pointed to the need to redesign several job creation and poverty eradication interventions to create more sustainable jobs for the youth, particularly at the district level. The commission made these observations during discussions on its midterm evaluation report on government's development policy framework over the period here in Accra. The report, launched by the NDPC, the body responsible for monitoring, evaluating and coordinating development policies, programs and projects, assessed progress made in the implementation of policies and projects towards national development. In focusing on the challenges in the health sector, the NDPC, while dissatisfied with the delay in NHIA payments to health service providers, still advocates an increase in private sector participation in healthcare delivery. NDPC Director General recommends redesigning current interventions for improved district level participation. The national programs which were initiated came up with very fantastic results. You know, planning for food and jobs, one district, one factory, one village, one dam, and also the specific area job creation area, which we, with respect to NAPCO, uh, YEP, and the others. We realized that the linkage and the sustainability within the district is, is a bit of a challenge. The district still regard that as a national program, something coming from Accra. And they haven't been able to really integrate that, such that when these programs end in any way, they will be able to mainstream and assimilate it as part of their plans. The report also focused on child protection and education. It bemoaned the limited juvenile correction centers nationwide, an ignorance of children's rights by parents, engagement of children in hazardous activities, as well as increased student and teacher absenteeism. The NDPC adopted five evaluation criteria from the Development Assistance Committee of the Economic Corporation and Development in generating the midterm evaluation report. Let's go live here on News 360. We're live on T3 Gun on Facebook, DSTV Channel 279, all across the world on 3news.com. Coming up as Business News with Eton MC. The internet zoom zoom right here in my house. Hey, look up there. Why are you using inferior pen? It was a mistake. I know check acrobat too. I'm gonna to knock you out. I know, sir. You deserve quality. Don't make mistakes. Stop. You did the right thing. When you are going to buy a pet, don't look left, don't look right. Go straight and grab the luxury acrylic paint. No be any pet be paint. The luxury acrylic paint. Paint me champion. Mama Josie. Ah, fe fe. Hmm. Different era, better result. Time has changed, and time has brought Cal chocolate paste, healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Toothpaste, Sankofa, Yenchi, Kill Chocolate Toothpaste. Happy smile. Hey, Pastor Ma, I don't want to go One minute. Oh, Sabuka. Hey, I'm taking on it. And then, what this is any insurance? A boom, I want my future son. And no one is a watch your phone. No one dial star four six two hash. No register. Get me on the star. Someone dial star four six two hash. Now register. No one chase the capital to our person this year. What's up, man? If you think Ghana, help us. What's your life insurance? I want my future son. Accident. I'm not so what. 
two. My future be wow. Si kaki two ebi to say two Ghana cedis. I would be kind of savings money. Any my future idea eh yo. My future ba mami no me. For phone, na dial is star four six two hash. I will vote that phone so. Na be kaka mumi. My future obi ni mo china savings. Vodafone song one out to me my future, my life, and a millennium insurance, and a brave war. Everyone, baby, baby, baby. I don't. What's the TV beer for tonight? You know, I like that sweet scented insecticide spray. You know, uh, you know oh. the baby be your porch. Now, the beer pretty living room, huh? bedroom, what do you hear? Me love you, me baby. Oh, no, dead. Of course, I take very good care of my wife and children. So I always win. If you want to protect your family against mosquitoes, there's still this sweet scented perfume coil now. I repel the mosquitoes. And my mom will say baby. And the spray, eh? also sweet scented. It kills all crawling and flying insects. Heaven insecticide. Oh, chop no, no, no. Prevention is always better than Mausanka or heaven insecticide spray and in the coin. If you say heaven, yeah, you are okay. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the I love football. Football can be a dirty game on or off the pitch. Even when I'm trying to score at a party, stays find a way of tracking me down. But I don't worry at all because I have key soft. Use new Cleesoft 360 Deep Clean, a unique formula with active ingredients and enzymes that gets rid of all stubborn stains and leaves your clothes smelling wonderful. Cleesoft, my favorite. Cleesoft 360 Deep Clean Clean All. For generations, Ghanaians have had one thing in common, and that's the way we start our day. Wherever your day will take you, start with the energy from Cadbury Richoco, made from the finest Ghanaian cocoa. This advert is FDA approved. Mama, mama, me ya wano. And I buy constantly. Just a moment. And I power hot. Yeah. And I power. Oh yeah, Jack Michael no wumo. It's only can I get it there. Hey, you can't come right. What do you need? Tomato sauce or honey, you be free. And the pass side in for box. What's that idea? Hey, you will see you. And a jollofa. Now, but the man, that don't know it though. What's that? And the ball will hear. I'm going to be a doer. So, when the pass right sauce, check check for you, sir. Oh, my, you tasty. And the pop big beans for the breakfast. Now, so what's that? Oh, shit. And the pop tuna. We're trying to pop for. Now, so what's that? Oh, tasty good. And the pop on dairy cream. For pops, we're so kissy. Oats, not creamy tea, no. Yeah, what? And the pass the get the. Talia pop puppy. Mansoon is a jadu re. Now for an apaspe get in the goo. Who an apatalia no are ready for watching on you with you. So I am a pa, not so good. Dem de ruboy ebbie ashishim ajatu. The business segment is brought to you by MTN, Roma Insecticide Spray and Coil, West Hills Ridge Property, Eden Heights, Universal Merchant Bank, Lufat. Let's do business now. My name is Eton Amse. The International Monetary Fund has urged government to leverage underutilized tax handles such as alcohol, tobacco, and property tax as their contribution is far below expectations in its latest report. However, former Finance Minister Seth Tekpe says it will be prudent for government to rather focus on reducing its expenditure rather than adding on to such excise taxes. According to IMF's 2021 Article 4 report, non-fuel excises make up a very small fraction of Ghana's tax base, contributing only 0.1% of GDP in 2018 and 2019. By comparison, Uganda and Kenya raise over 2% of GDP in excise taxes. 
Ghana's tobacco excises amount to just 16% of the retail price, well below the average tax burden of middle-income countries, and the WHO's recommendation of 70% of the retail price. Introducing reforms in taxes, such as alcohol and tobacco, according to the IMF, could generate as much as 0.45% of GDP, while still encouraging healthier behavior. It is one of the easiest targets to actually get to rake in some revenue. So once you put in place the, uh, the increment of the sin taxes, you have automatically reduced the consumption of these projects and also reduced your budgetary allocations to the management of the diseases that come out of this consumption. However, former finance minister Setekwe proposes much focus on government expenditure and how it can be reduced. Even if it were going to be done, I would say that the solution, and as the fund also proposes, is in expenditure. It's in the, so you, when you talk about fiscal, that's why they don't talk about revenue only. They spoke about fiscal consolidation. And fiscal consolidation means that you are going to look at not just your revenue, but you are going to look at your expenditure. Okay. Because the difference between revenue and expenditure, which is the deficit, which is high, it's about 15% now, right? And therefore, once you have a deficit, it means that you are not raising enough revenue. Another area of taxation the IMS strongly feels is underutilized is property rate, which currently raises revenue equal to a paltry 0.01% each year. MTN Ghana is supporting government's digitization agenda and is determined to increase the country's technology adoption rates, which currently stands at 60%. Speaking at its business executive breakfast meeting, CEO of MTN Ghana, Selom Adadivo, said the company will not just supply data in its high demand, but assist in the data productivity as it is proving to be a major drive uh, to the country's economic development. This year's business executive breakfast meeting of MT in Ghana is part of activities to mark the company's 25th anniversary, scaling up technology, adopting dominated discussions. We have an objective not just to supply data but also to help the productivity within the economy mm. because data is such a critical driver of economic growth today in all economies. Mm. And so we see that as our contribution towards Ghana's development mm. and achieving our digital. Let, let me stay with you on this. Selom Adadevo is excited about the strides made so far in the growth of technology and regulations in Ghana. We've seen the rapid technological evolution stay ahead of policy in most markets. And the lag between technology evolution and policy has to be bridged somehow. As a leading operator within the market, one of our roles is to support government, to support the policy maker, so that we can bridge that gap so that policy can evolve at a faster rate to support the technology evolution. So for us in particular, it's important to encourage additional accelerated investment into capacity over the next several years so that we can meet the demand of Ghanaians for data services. The MTN Ghana Business Executive Breakfast Meeting engaged some 25 million subscribers virtually as the company managed to address the concerns. A 32-year-old building contractor from Winchip in the Buna region, Francis Jan, has received a check of 316,000 cities for winning the Wuchuya jackpot draw. The winner, Francis Jan, expressed gratitude to the 787 lottery and urged all to partake in the draw. Initially, I was excited and later I realized that God has a way of doing a lot of things for there are a lot of things ahead of me. My idea is based on building. So once I get this uh, amount, I'll make sure I'll put up a structure. Head of Customer Experience, Richard Akoto Banfo, announced an extra 1,000 cities win for five lucky players at a purchase of tickets before 12 midnight every Friday. Stand the chance to win 200 Ghana cities on Wednesday, win 200 Ghana cities on Thursday, and then 1,000 Ghana cities on Friday. This Saturday, we are looking at a jackpot value worth 100,000 Ghana cities. This Saturday draw promises a whopping 100,000 cities jackpot, plus a guaranteed 20,000 unique prize. 
50 players also stand the chance of winning 200 cities every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. All tickets purchased for the special Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday draws automatically qualify for the Saturday draw. To participate, simply dial star 77 hash, select play now, select participation to confirm your mobile money PIN for payment. A ticket is only 5 cities and your phone number is your participation in the draw. Let's head to the commodities market and see how good cocoa and crude fed today. And Brent and gold continued their losing streak today while cocoa and Brent crude went down by some point seven six percent to trade at sixty nine point two dollars a barrel. Gold trimmed point one one percent to touch. $1,782 per ounce. Cocoa gained 0.98% to close the day at $2,672 per metric ton. Remember, there's a lot more business news on 3news.com and that'll be it for business for tonight. My name is Eton Amsi. Many thanks for your time. the MTN Act 25 promo. Just keep using your MTN number and talk, text, browse, and no more to gain points and you could win 125 Hyundai Sonata vehicles and cash prizes each month in the MTN Act 25 promo. Dial star 156 hash today and begin your journey to win big. Hey, man, try. Only on MTN. Everywhere you go. Terms and conditions apply. The groom is sick. What? Malaria. Malaria. Look fat. Look fat. In Jija, we have malaria. And what to them? Look fat. I am malaria. Drop your cup. And now you may kiss the bride. Entrance from a sweet cause and research center. And I am Lufat. Lufat. A two malaria sentence. FDA. I just saw a JD Capo. I just saw a JD Capo. Have you heard of Eden Heights? A luxury gated residential development located in the heart of Crown West, just behind West Hills Mall? It's a cross best kept secret. A master planned community of modern styled apartments and penthouses bearing the superior seal of grade A finishing. Eden Heights promises residents convenience, security, and comfort. For an all inclusive and self contained living experience, Eden Heights is your best choice. You are guaranteed a wide variety of social and recreational conveniences right at your doorstep including open green spaces, soccer pitch, swimming pools, tennis court, fitness center, playgrounds and entertainment.
entertainment facilities. Reserve your luxury apartment on our limited promotional offer with just 25,000 CDs. Call 050-1531444 for more information and to book a viewing. Terms and conditions apply. Eden Heights, welcome home. The all new slow indulgence. This advertisement is FDA approved. I have a song I'd love to share with you today. Come on and sing along. Look what I'm doing. Do it just like me. Look what I'm doing. Spin around with me. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. Come and brush with me, come and brush with me. segment is brought to you by Cal Kids Toothpaste. Hello, good evening. Let's do sports news here on News 360. My name is Yao Ufusula. I'll be now to our first story. Ghana coach Sika Kono says he's confident in his team as they head into next year's Africa Cup of Nations. The Black Stars lost in a friendly game against Morocco back in June and have been paired to play against each other again at the tournament. But Akono believes the loss in June is a blessing in disguise for his team and he has learned from the mistakes from that game. Now, this was a trip courtesy Global Wings Travel and Source Limited that, uh, you know, that made sure that my colleague Kelvin Oswansa will get to Yaoundé and bring us this interview. We, we've come a long way and, and, and that we have new faces, old guys who have also experienced this tournament before and so we are not too much worried. We will, be, we will prepare well adequately to come in and make sure we do win this tournament and, and, and what we are all yearning for is to win the cup and that is what will be our target. Doing well to win the cup, that's what I mean. Osi Kakuno is Ghana's coach. Now, Nigeria head coach Gennot Rowe, Ivory Coast head coach Patrice Bomel, and Guinea coach Didier Six, as well as Gambia's head coach Tom Sainfier, all spoke exclusively to three sports correspondents Kelvin Oswans after last night's AFCON 2021 draw in Cameroon's capital, Yaoundé. Uh, it's a tough group because we have Egypt, we have Sudan, who is a very good team now, and Guinea Bissau is also. Uh, uh, outsider who can be uh, very dangerous for a team like Nigeria. We must not uh, underrate anybody. We take them all the time very seriously. We didn't lose any qualifier. And so we don't want to lose uh, now in the AFCON. We have the time to prepare the AFCON because it's only in January. It's going to be a very tough group with uh, four teams completely different in the way to play football. But I think uh, it will be very tough for the four teams to, yes, to play because it's an open group. Everything is possible. We have to prepare very well to respect everybody 
to, to pass this first round and to go as far as possible. We play game after game. The concentration for the first game and after. When the, when the day of we play against Senegal, we, we have a spirit, spirit and a force to play against Senegal. It's a doable group. Uh, Tunisia is a strong country, but in Group A we're only strong countries. And also the, the, the other nations in, in, in our group are uh, regional, uh, Mali, uh, Mauritania. Um, I think uh, we, we have a group what we can be satisfied with. Uh, we could win these games, we could draw these games, so I'm not afraid of them. I respect them, they are a good football nation, uh, but we have also a good team and good quality. And I think we can be very competitive to all uh, three countries in our group. Our coach is very confident heading into AFCON 2021, but also a special thanks again to Global Wings Travel and Tour for making that trip uh, possible. But to some of us, and the Paralympic Games may be a few days away, and anticipation levels seem to have risen. But for Frederick, I saw Ghana's paracyclist is relishing the moment as he looks to make a name for himself on the big stage. Here's a report by TV3's Daniel Yeboa as he takes us through what Frederick Asso goes through in training every day. Frederick Asso is hoping his skills can shove him into the race for a medal. For him, the sport saved him from joblessness after joining the National Paralympics team in 2011. Sport has always been part of his life before he lost his sight some 25 years ago. A graduate from the University of Ghana, Asso says he goes through every day knowing he is stronger than people think he is. As a sportsman, although I've completed university, I have my Bachelor of Arts in History and the Study of Religions. Mm. But because I love sports, I have put in all those things aside and then the spirit of sports is in there. After the beach, they sit on the tandem bike to hit the road. Sitting behind his pilot makes it easy for him to know the directions. However, there is more to it. Up, press down, go. When you watch me and Frederick, we are on one bicycle. He didn't have steering. I was the one who was controlling the brake, the gear, whatever. So at times, I used my hand. I told him, when I hold your hand, one, and I, I didn't press it, means that go down. The place that we are going is not fine. Asso placed seventh in the world at Rio 2016 and placed fifth and first in the World and Africa Games respectively. Well, that was a story by my colleague Daniel Yeboah there, bringing us uh, the updates on the Paralympic Games and also for Frederick Asso in there. But let's move on to uh, the three sports daily wrap. And as you can see on your screen, Arsenal have agreed uh, a deal, a 30 million deal actually, to sign uh, Martin Odegaard from Real Madrid. And the Norway International will join for an initial 30 million pound fee plus bonuses. And he was in London uh, on Wednesday undergoing a medical. So uh, that's Martin Odegaard there. And Arsenal fans can smile at least at this. But I'm still on uh, a transfer conundrum that has Harry Kane uh, also uh, in the pick of things. And it says Harry Kane will not play for Tottenham Hotspur in Thursday's Europa Conference League playoff first leg against Pacos de Ferreira. The striker, who reportedly wants to leave the club, was not part of the group that flew on Wednesday to Portugal for the game. Well, the last one uh, on your screen now, Romelu Lukaku says he's available to face Arsenal on Saturday. He has gotten the number nine shirt, his favourite shirt, same shirt he wore at Inter Milan, same shirt at Manchester United. And uh, also, uh, Juventus also confirmed Manuel Luc uh, Lucatelli signing uh, also in there. Quite cheap, really. 34 million euros for uh, Lucatelli to join Juventus. But that's all the sports news this evening here on News 360. My name is Yao Ofosulai. For more sports news, just head on to 3news.com slash sports and also follow all our pages at 3sportsgh. Welcome to Dewa NLA 539 Direct Draw Results coming to you live from the Brennan Hall of the National Lottery Authority. The winning numbers for tonight's draw are... Congratulations.
Sports Talk. They were NLA 539 direct winners for tonight. See you same time tomorrow. Be the next winner. Simply dial star 446 hash and select option 1 to play Dewa NLA 539 direct. You can also play at selected Lotto Kiosk across the country. They were NLA 539 direct. A fat winning, no. Each show, Kale, yeah, kind of direct. Now, what's the saying? With they were NLA 539 direct, you only have to select up to five numbers from 1 to 39 to play Dow Star 446 hash across all mobile networks and select option one. With a minimum of two Ghana CDs, you can bet on direct one. Match the first number and win 20 times your stake. Direct two. Match two numbers and win 45 times your stake. Direct three. Match three numbers and win 400 times your stake. Direct four match four and win five thousand times your stake direct five match all five numbers to win fifty thousand times your stake the more you play the more you win look out for the draw results on tv3 news at 7 pm win easy win every day with dewa nla 539 direct afa win you know it's so hello there we know what matters today don't we hurry up follow safety measures Drive for hours, not a perfect spot, park smoothly, and then visit another shop and scroll for the opportunities. Tap to pay. Enjoy that extra reward. Get 10% extra cashback when you pay with Visa. How you pay matters. Life must be enjoyed. Life must be lived to the fullest. And that is why IO is making insurance accessible to all Ghanaians. With over 5 million Ghana cities claims paid, we continue to bring smiles to all MTN subscribers across the country. A life or hospital cover for as low as 4 Ghana cities per month, yet given us so much to be happy for. We share the goodness IO brings with everyone. Dial star 296 hash and follow the prompts to register for IO Recharge with Care. Registration is free. Ayo, because you care. Terms and conditions apply. Underwritten by Metropolitan Life Insurance Ghana. And I drew me so me so. Some idea was she and we. Oh, my, we judge a dear be our bay and not so bad. I hope it was a good deep and to school. Oh, Sam, no, I'm so do. Debbie's sister, won't you mean dresses, sir? I was so we yaku could draw and she say, be our bay. Impossible, nipple, you know, no, and yaji. I get back when you nudge it to me, what Jan and what they did, and you may shamp up the beer. I want to draw room. Any fair, any said your pet in a pea. Now you have the fiber and the vitamins I can't want to. Tasty tom and rich tomato mix me with sending in a dear near a day. A sun so man what day. Tasty tom and rich tomato mix. Strength comes from within. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Pack up your day with your favorite pack milk and choco biscuit now in exciting new packaging. You gotta have a smile. You gotta have a smile. Only the packaging has changed. The taste remains the same. Crispy and delicious. Pack up your day with pack biscuits and exciting new packs with the same great taste. This advert is FDA approved. Entertainment news segment is brought to you by Puma Drinks. I'm Anita Ekir Ekufu, and in entertainment this evening, Ghanaian singer Jackie um, hit a milestone with over a million views on music streaming platform Boomplay. And that was in January with her seed EP that was her debut EP on the Ghanaian music scene. And she released a debut project on 7th August 2020, which featured five songs with a runtime of 12 minutes, with a project gaining hit over a 1 million streams on Boomplay. Seven months down the line, the EP has garnered 8 million streams and a total of 10 million streams for all her songs on Boomplay. And this is the first milestone Jackie has hit with the EP as she has over 3.6 million streams on AudioMark.
Congratulations going out to Jackie. And away from that promising disc jockey, DJ Master Q has qualified to the next stage of the ongoing 3FM Jam and 10 competition after taking on DJ Sniper in this week's weekly episodes. Here are highlights from week five as a two battle for supremacy. <laughs> We're having DJs come in here to battle. Is it going to be DJ Sniper or Master Q? Battle for the bragging rights, cash prize, and other mouth-watering prizes is still on at the 3FM Jam and 10 competition. Competing DJs continue to display their mastery on the 10 tables in its weekly episodes. One after the other, DJ Master Q and DJ Sniper were given 10 minutes to impress listeners and judges. Coming up shortly is International News. Do say. A whole new vibe, another quality product from Casa Preco. This advertisement has inverted and approved. I'm at the station, please. Can you give me the direction? Ask anyone, okay, madam. Madam Panchi, please. Why you go Panchi, please? A Corso Road. Now, where is number four and Rimde Avenue? Corso! Front right, shop left. Please direct me to number four and Rimde Avenue. Corso! What can you go Panchi, please? And give me the direction. Number four, Nimde Avenue. Gosa! Thank you. Please, can you direct me to number 24, Nimde Avenue? Gosa. Keep going with the goodness of the new fan yoga Panchi Peach. So cool, so good. can be part of the extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Together we can.
On the international front, chaotic scenes have been reported outside Kabul International Airport as government rush to bring home their citizens as well as Afghan colleagues. Taliban militants controlling access to the airport have fired shots into the air to disperse approaching crowds. Some 5,000 people have been evacuated in the last 24 hours through the airport, which has been run by U.S. troops deployed to organize the evacuation. Let's now go to Nigeria, where seven people have been killed in an attack on a convoy transporting workers to a shell oil and gas project in the southeastern part of the country. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Well, and that's it for the segment, and that's it for News 360 as well. Thank you so much for your time. I am Poshian Kabo. My, my name is Alfred Okansi. Join me in the rest of the team tomorrow morning on 3FM 92.7 from 5 to 5 a.m. To 10 a.m. as always, do have a good evening.